Please welcome back friend of the show and host of Food Network's Girl Meets Farm, the award-winning blogger, author of Molly on the Range, Molly Yay! Hi, Drew. Happy Meat Week. Oh, Molly, I'm so excited. These are some of the best, if not the best, meatless meatballs I've ever had. So I'm so excited for you to teach us how to do it. Well, we have my ex-boyfriend's mom to thank for them because <laughs> the title of the recipe in my book is Spaghetti and My Ex-Boyfriend's Meatless Balls. They were so good that after I broke up with him, I had to go back and get the recipe. And you know, <laughs> as someone who eats meat, I eat meat. They taste like meat and they are so easy to make. What I really love about them is the fact that they use such simple ingredients, ingredients you probably already have, and you just throw everything into the food processor. So are you ready to make these balls? I love these balls. Let's do this. All okay, right. so the ingredients we have in our food processor, they're essentially just nuts and cheese. So with the wall, I'm using walnuts, but you can also use almonds. It's important to toast them because it makes them crunchier and brings out their flavor. We've got Parmesan cheese, some garlic, parsley, um, and then a little bit of salt. And now Drew, so the recipe calls for breadcrumbs, but when you made these on your Instagram, you subbed them for Ritz crackers, which I thought was the most genius thing in the world. So I'm using Ritz crackers and it's gonna hold them all together. It's gonna bind them and the Ritz are gonna add so much flavor. I love it. So let's pulse everything together. And I like to keep a crunchier texture. So don't over blend it. Leave some few bigger bits. You can already start to smell it. You smell the garlic. I most certainly do. And I have to say, I think the walnut as a meat substitution is one of the most satisfying. They are meaty. They're a meaty nut. They're really good. Um, and this recipe, you can also change up the cheeses, change up the spices. I like to do sort of a Middle Eastern vibe and use feta and some mint and cilantro. Ooh. Or you could also add fennel and crumble the sausage onto pizza. Ooh. And then it's a meatless sausage, yeah. Um, okay, so we've got our eggs in here and the eggs bind it together. And this is it. We're just gonna pulse this to incorporate the eggs now. I have to say, this was one of the most pleasurable, easy recipes to make. It was a pure joy. I had pure joy watching you make them on Instagram. You know, it made me so happy. Well, we should thank your ex-boyfriend. Thank you, Eric. <laughs> okay, so we've got our mixture here. By the way, I have a few people I could introduce him to. You are, I saw you interview Tom Green and you are so nice to your ex-boyfriends. I'm so impressed. I could never do that. I, you know, I, I, I really do have a good, thank you for saying that. I, uh, Tom especially. It's such a beautiful interview. Thank you. Um, are you ready to roll these balls? The key to these balls is you don't want to pack them too firmly oh, okay. because then you'll get a dense texture. So just roll them loose enough so that they hold together. And then we're gonna put them into some hot oil and you can pan fry these. You can also deep fry them too because no one said these had to be healthy. And so I have some oil here. These cook for a few minutes on all sides just until they're golden. And then you plop them into red sauce and you can serve them on a slider. You can serve them on a hoagie. You can put them out at a party with some toothpicks and then you have a fun appetizer and you can see who notices that they're fake meat. But of course, today we're gonna go the classic route and spoon them over some spaghetti. Oh yeah, I'm spooning them right Just now. Pile and them I'm right on. I think that, um, just visuals and psychology is so effective as I like over serve myself. Um, and I think that the look of these meatballs, Molly, they just look so real and authentic and they taste so satisfying that to me, you're not only not missing meat, I think you're getting something so much more. I mean, this really is one of my favorite dishes. It's just incredible. Beautiful. It looks so good. I, I mean, it. Molly, what is it that take, it tastes like meat? It tastes like meat. It, it tastes, tastes like meat and they're so easy. They're so easy. 
I mean, it's, mm. I, I'm not kidding to anyone who may be kind enough to be watching, they taste exactly like the best meatball. I don't think you would actually know that they're not meatballs. And the Ritz crackers in here just bring them to a whole new level. I'm obsessed. It's just perturbing that you can have something that tastes this much like meat. It's just so satisfying. Molly, you're such a genius. You know, every once in a while when you have like a vegetarian or a vegan thing, you're like, there's, let's face facts, this is not the real thing. This, I want you to eat next to a real meatball and try to tell the difference. It's that extraordinary. Do the taste test challenge, do the Pepsi challenge on Molly's <laughs> Meatless meatballs. Oh, Molly, I can't wait to spend more time with you. Oh, I love you so much. This was so much fun. Thank you. Go to the DrewBarrymoreShow.com for the full recipe, and it's going to blow your doors off.